Okay, we're going to do a quick little demo here of the uh, the new section in the setup page, uh, which is essentially consists of adding setup charts. Uh, the former, formerly you just had the suspension properties, which you can still access. It's just on a different tab. Uh, you'll note that this high speed damping ratio value has been added. That's the only thing that's been added to the suspension properties. So basically what happens is, is whenever you make a change that's going to affect anything on these suspension properties, it is going to be reflected in one of these charts or maybe all of them, depending on what kind of a change you're making. Um, not everything in the setup has been uh, included in this. Uh, there are things that are very difficult to add, one of them being droop, uh, because droop is a function of the... Uh, uh, braking, acceleration, and cornering G's. So you really need to figure out exactly what position your shock's in before you can take into consideration droop. And it uh, may, you may be droop limited in one handling condition and not in another. So I'm going to continue working to see if I can figure out an a easy way to integrate that, but for now it's not included. Uh, the other thing that isn't included is <coughs> Ackerman effects. Kickup is included, caster is included, toe angle is concluded, included, but the effect of steering angles is not included. Okay, so back to our setup charts. Let's go back to the beginning here. So as we click around, you'll see making changes here that these graphs are updating. So the changes I've made so far are all suspension geometry changes. So that hasn't affected our damping whatsoever. It has made a slight change to the response. <coughs> and we do have a little bit of a change to our uh, entry, mid, and exit corner. Now, you know, we can do changes to shocks. We can increase spring rates. We can make all these changes. And all the effects are going to be shown here. And these are, to the best of my ability, quantitative and what I mean by quantitative is it shows you how much of a change you are making whether it's a very very small change or whether it's a larger change so it gives you a good indication if you know you've got a car that's really handling badly and you need to make some changes so you may need to make some big changes you can use this to uh, try and accommodate that um, the one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to make all these changes and then go, okay, great, let's save them. Because what's going to happen now is all the changes that you've made are going to overwrite this setup that you've got up here. So what you want to do is you want to create a new setup. And we can compare to this. So let's create a new setup. And we'll just call it test. And save it. And so now all these changes that we're making are exact the starting setup is exactly the same as this guy, but we're not going to overwrite him when we go to save it. So let's say that we've got a car that's uh, oversteering and we want to make some changes to try and help that. So you can essentially what you're trying to do here is stiffen the front and soften the rear. So we could stiffen the front by just standing our shocks up one hole. And you can see here it's a very small change, but we've reduced the amount of front grip and we've increased the rear grip slightly. So we could go a little further and we could soften the rear. So if we drop the rear down, now you can see we've got a little bigger change. Uh, let's soften our change to a softer rear spring. And uh, let's uh, stiffen the oops. Let's stiffen the front anti-roll bar. So let's go to that. So you can see here, as we're making these changes, the magnitude of the the change is being reflected in these charts. So it can be very helpful to uh, to see what's uh, what's going on with this. Um, the other thing is, I'm just gonna click save here. And so now we've saved it, and oh no, we lost everything. Well, no, we didn't really. We can use configure chart, and you can see here we've got the setup compared to, and the setup compared to is listed down here as well. And so we're currently compared to the current setup, but we want to go back to our basic carpet setup. So once we've done that, you can see that all our bar graphs have returned, and we haven't lost anything. We can carry on making changes 
and we're still going to be compared to that original setup. All right, we can select any of the setups that we've got in this list. It doesn't matter, but it gives you a, a good way to compare uh, one setup to another to see uh, uh, what the effects of uh, different setup changes are going to have. Uh, the other thing you can do here is uh, you can isolate camber and weight transfer effects. So if we just look at weight transfer, you can see the bar graphs didn't change. We look at camber, there is none because none of the changes we've made so far have anything to do with camber. So if we wanted to uh, start looking at camber effects, uh, we would have to go back and we could start making some suspension geometry changes. So we can change these up and down and you know we could change uh, the static camber, our starting camber, and you'll see that we're now seeing little effects starting to show up on the um, on the bar graphs. So if we go back to configure, we can have weight transfer only, camber only, or the combined effect of both. Uh, the other thing you can do with this little configuration chart here is you can set the chart range. So if you want it a narrow range, a nor normal, and wide range, depending on how much of an effect the changes you're making are having, you may need to adjust that. Normal is going to be work, work for you 90% of the time, though, I think. Um, okay, uh, the other thing that we can do here is we can change our uh, acceleration, braking, and cornering Gs. These are numbers that are used to calculate uh, the weight transfer and uh, camber effects. So we can change our uh, mid corner entry and corner exit values. Uh, say we wanted to go to higher lateral on the mid corner, so we can apply that. Now, as soon as you apply it, you're going to lose everything again. So you have to go back and click on our basic carpet setup so that we've got everything back again. Um, this acceleration, braking, and cornering Gs is also the same numbers that are used here. So if you switch over to this graph, you'll see that you know we've got a, a change in the um, weight transfer here because I changed this value. So it's recalculated everything. Uh, Damping is not going to be affected. So that's it. Um, I don't think there's anything else uh, I want to talk about, but uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight. And uh, when you start playing around with it, I'm sure you're going to find this uh, very interesting. Uh, have a good one.